So today I'm spending time with the fabulous S.A. Brume of the Ovie Brume Foundation. Let's start. Who are you and what is the Ovie Brume Foundation? Okay. Thank you, Yemi, for, um, for asking me this, for being present here and for um, this conversation. So who am I? I'm S.A. Brumer, as you rightly said. I'm the executive director of the Ovier Brumer Foundation. Ovier was my brother, my younger brother. Um, and he, he just didn't wake up from his sleep. 20, it was in 2002. Um, and Ovier was a brilliant young man. He was going to be 30 years old the following year. He graduated in Harvard, came back to Nigeria to um, work with my mother, start up his own business. He was into finance. So his death was such a shock because he was like the perfect <laughs> man, you know, perfect mm. brother. And he spent a lot of his free time with children, street kids, you know, taking them to play basketball, doing things with them. So with this, with his sudden death, which was a big blow, um, my mom, who was very distressed, as you can imagine, he was her only son. And you know how it is in Nigeria, your only son gone. Of course. In a lot of pain, but let's keep Ovie's memory alive. Let's do what he would have done if he were still alive. So she, one of her houses in Victoria Island was, was turned into the youth center. So we started in 2003 in Victoria Island. And we are here now, 2024, in our new center in Surulere. And the journey has been oh, a wonderful journey, you know. I mean, the Lord knows best. Um, yes. But I'm just very... I know Ovie is happy with what we're doing. He's happy. He can... He's happy. He's happy. So, yeah, that's... I think I answered your question. I hope I did. Yes, you did. And first and foremost, my sincere condolences. Thank you. And his spirit lives mm. on. From what I've seen today, yes. his spirit lives on. I'd like to talk about some of the challenges you have faced. Mm. Because launching a foundation particularly in the education space can be quite challenging due to a variety of, of factors what would we'll, we'll start with the challenges first and then we'll go to the successes afterwards mm. if you don't mind mm. so what challenges have you faced in terms of starting a foundation and keeping it going till today because my memory serves me right 2024 this will mark your 21st year exactly exactly, exactly. okay i have to admit that um, I started being director of the Ovie Brumer Foundation just after COVID, 20, during 2020. Before then, I lived, I didn't live in Nigeria. I lived in France. Okay. So um, every time I would come with my children, like every two years or once a year to Nigeria, and I would, because I come from the theater space, I'm a, I'm a theater actress, I would participate in the foundation as a volunteer giving theater drama classes and all that. So I wasn't involved in the administrative um, process of starting up the foundation and running it. It's something that is, is just quite recent to me. Okay. So in response to your question about the challenges, um, the challenges I face currently now, of course, uh, is money, 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 money makes the world go round. Mm. You know, um, we're, we're um, lucky that we have... Um, long-term supporters since the beginning access bank i have to mention access bank because they are really they've supported us you know since from the outset outset they also knew my brother they worked together you know with the with the former with the members i i Godre, who's my brother-in-law and the late herbert wigway they they worked together with ovie um he helped as well when access bank became access bank so they've always been supportive of what we do um and what I can say as well is that um, the foundation has been structured from the outset in such a way because I come from my family, they're in finance, banking. My mother, Evelyn Oputu, was um, director of a bank of industry. She's been a banker all her life. Okay. So here at the foundation, you have your board of directors, your board of trustees. Me that I come from the theater space, um, I was like thrown into the deep end, like essay, start running this place. And I was like, I don't think I don't. What's a board of trustees? What's board of directors? You know, I was like, I don't know all of this stuff. But Huge learning curve, you'd say. Yes, it was. But I think by um, 
the foundation being very clear you know people it's not just one person who decides you know there's a board of directors board of trustees you have to refer to them you have to give um accounts what is it? accounts you know annual you know reports these annual reports and i'm very bad at that but you know um, <laughs> this structure i think has really favored the um the, the youth centers that we have you know in lagos state and in delta it has enabled our sponsors to see that we we use the funds precisely for what we say we're going to to use and it's attracted other sponsors as well so um when you talk about the challenges yes i said money but um it's not just money it's also human beings mm -hmm. i'm so grateful for the team i'm currently I, i'm currently working with you know that they give their hearts mm -hmm. out to um so it's not it's not just a job you know it's it's a passion and um with this jaqua phenomenon mm. like our head of programs unfortunately he left and he was really um shayi his heart was totally in it with the children you know people the children would run out uncle shayi you know so it's really the human beings apart from money is we need money but it's the humans who you can work with to um really impact the children that's um yeah is that a challenge? It's it's not really a challenge. Well, but it's essential to uh to have a a, a working foundation that's um heart centered and children totally children focused. Yeah. Thank you so much. And regarding the successes, I'm sure you've had many as well yes. along the line, and it kind of like you know buffers with the you've got the challenges, so you have the successes. So what successes yes. have you had? like um mohammed ali mohammed ali is one how old uh oh, mohammed ali started with us in 2004 and he we took him so he went through us you know we got scholarship for him to go to university and he came out i think he was working with um i've forgotten the name of the company but just some some big company doing like tech you know um and so when I see him, when we celebrated 20 years, when we commissioned this building in Surulere, Muhammad Ali came to testify, you know, saying without hmm. the foundation, you know, he, he wouldn't, he doesn't know where he would be. Same with, um, same with, um, Usman Abubakar, who you met, um, downstairs, who also, he's in SS3. He also won this um, for tech, you know, his computer skills. He won this like um, scholarship. He got a computer, you know. So wow. all these, all these things, they they give, they encourage us, you know, to to continue, continue the job. You know, some of course we have disappointments. Some like she gets pregnant, despite the fact that we try to isolate her from mm. from um, harsh realities by putting her in a in a in a private school. Um, but there's some things, you know, you can't. You can't win them all. Yes. But you just we just keep on going. We keep on going. Trying your best every day. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's that's part of the successes. So can you tell me a, just a little bit more? So you've talked about a, a youth center center earlier on. Yeah. So in that youth center, so I'm 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 in my head I'm thinking a library, an ICT facility, places where people can read and write. Yes. Okay. So here, as I said, we commissioned this building in. 2022 december 2022 when we celebrated 20 years of my brother's passing um so this is the first phase of um this is part of the yogabrume youth center we have classrooms here and downstairs we do have a small ict room and a reading room but we are currently building just next door wow a bigger a bigger youth center that would house like a an amphitheater a bigger library you know it would be like welcome to the 21st century you know type um so I'm really excited about that as well because in where here in Surulere there are a lot of schools a lot of kids that we want we can impact so we need more space you know more room and um we also have a youth center in Delta excellent it's small small but it's still you know it's it's sufficient it's sufficient you know we we, we grow organically you know we see like here we started here first and then when we get the we raise enough funds we will build the bigger one because we know there are there are lots i'm repeating myself but that's fine <laughs> um, but um so yeah we try to grow organically and 
according to the demands of the children of the children okay. yeah it's really the children we are here for the children to serve the children and you're doing an excellent job thank you and my next question is how can one get involved how can one be a sponsor so and as for anyone watching this video yeah or you can send it to as many people as possible to mm -hmm. get involved with the over foundation. foundation how can they how can they impact how can they be impacted and how can they impact mm. the lives of the children how yes. did how can they get involved? Well, we do have a website, www.ovabrumefoundation.org. Ovie Brume is spelled O-V-I-E-B-R-U-M-E foundation.org. So you click on the website, you will see all that we've been doing this past 20 years. There's a, a, a button to click to donate if you wish to. We have different scholarship um, schemes, PNE, Project No Excuse, where we... Um, Child, children going through secondary school, we find sponsors for beneficiary and the sponsors help with like school books, school uniform, nutritional supports to the family because let's not forget the family is important as well. Absolutely. You, know, we, you can't just isolate the child from the family. So there's Project No Excuse. We now have Project 20 Hands On because we also believe it's important to be self-sustaining. So we train the children to do like tie and dye, make um, weave baskets, you know, and so we also sell these products. So click online, our products are there online so you can also support by buying them. And then volunteers, because as I said, human beings that's like our goal yes you know and um we are sh we have like 15 people who work as staff yes you know um we can't for the time being we can't afford to have more salaried staff so we rely a lot on volunteers people who want to come who are retired who want to come and um spend time with the kids reading books to them teaching them english maths history geography please come and volunteer you know it's that's the way you don't need to no monies are exchanged but just you being present here sharing transmitting to the children that's you know uh that's those are the ways you can contribute to our to our growth so yes. you heard it you're, you heard it from her uh from sa Brumi. uh you can volunteer to help maybe a few days uh in a week maybe a few days in a month maybe mm -hmm. a few hours a day get in touch in, on the website www.ovabrumefoundation.org yeah. where you can find out how you can be a sponsor beneficiary or a volunteer and my last question sort of like ties in with the um earlier point you made mm -hmm. on your new building what's the future of ova brume foundation and where do you see yourself and, and the foundation of course in the next couple of years as you continue to expand mm. i see us um i would like us to open different centers in nigeria i think we really need it um uh, i would like us to um open up internationally as well working with unicef you know other um international ngos who can who can collaborate, work together with us. Um, I went to Cameroon like a year and a half ago and I was like, wow, I wish we could do exchange because we do our summer camp as mm -hmm. well. You know, I wish we could um, just- Like an exchange program. Yeah. Some of the students can come, some of the students from Nigeria can go over. Exactly, same thing with Benin Republic on the left, you know, that kind of, um, but it's important to s grow, be well. And I, f I feel we are well grounded in the south of Nigeria now. So we want to inch our way up Ogun State mm -hmm. or your state, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, Cross River, Kaduna. We were running the African literacy competition before in collaboration with Lafarge. And my team used to travel all over Nigeria, but for security reasons, they had to stop. I understand. So we just, I see ourselves expanding, 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 impacting more lives. And as I said, opening internationally, and so yeah I, the future is so bright you know it's uh yes indeed and i think it is uh, bright for yourself and of your for the ova brume foundation and on that note we'll be ending the interview thank you so much thank you. for spending time with me thank i enjoyed you. my time here guys you should check out the uh their facility uh in surulere i'll put the details in the description down down below and you can just click on, on the website once uh, the, this video goes live. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a <laughs> Thank lot. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.